little brief uh, brief <laughs> little break we took there. But um, we're going to see if this hopefully improves the uh, delay. That, that, that. That's actually a lot better, I think. Do, do, do. Yeah, that's great. That's like a three or four second delay instead of... Well, we, we lowered the, the FPS rates and we lowered the bit rate, so... Should I, I, don't, I don't have no idea, but the thing is, like, I should be able to have a higher bit rate. I have no idea. I just assume that a higher bit rate means that your computer has to work harder to put up more bits. I don't know, actually know any of these, these things. I'm still learning. So anybody who's out there who, who knows about streaming, you guys let me know, okay? <laughs> also, I feel the feeling that this thing is probably going to need to move because it's, it's in the way of all the fun. It's like a big blue... You know what we should do? We should 3D print something to microphone. hold the mic onto the You need a tripods. boom pole. It needs to go on a boom. Yeah. It's also a fat mic. Like, it's got a big fat face, so... Does it matter if it's there? I mean, it's going to cover some of the cards. Then it's going to cover the extra deck cards. Yeah, I don't want it there. How can we move it? Can we put it on the desk, maybe? That's going to be too far away from us? Yeah. It needs to be closer than that. You need something also tall? Uh. That organizer, maybe? That wheeled, wheeled organizer? What? Yeah. There's stuff on top of it right now. Yeah. Put it on my desk or on the floor. Don't like dump it, like take it gently and put it on the floor or my desk. Thank you. There's a bunch of Monopoly money here. <laughs> it's Canadian tire money, but basically the same thing. So hi guys, welcome to the stream. Uh, I don't know if anybody is watching yet. Um, let me just take a look. Three viewers! Woo! Someone is watching. Hi! Um, type what? in the chat and let us know who you are. How are we gonna get this thing in there? It, uh, even if you just put it like around and underneath, it should be okay. We're still trying to sort out our sound setup. W will this reach across the table? That's how it got tied up in itself. Now I understand. I can push this in there, I guess. We just have to push this table back. Okay. Actually, it, it will if you want to put it like here. I'm gonna put the mouse pad on my computer. Technical difficulties. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna move this thing in there. Oh, there goes camera one. And then you put the thing in. And I can just move it like that. Oh, that's way better. Look at that. That's like 3,000 times better. 3,000. And now you get to see the cat in the background. Wow, that's, you know, you know what? The cat is a big deal, right? Okay. Streams love cats. I okay, think. well. Without further ado, let's get to playing. Uh, I am, so we are RPing today in our RP campaign and also playing some uh, speed duels. Mm, my character's name is Ivy Usagi. She is a duel queen and Seto Kaiba's cold as ice girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm the DM and I'm going to be playing all the other characters. So uh, please excuse my... Uh, that accent, my, my accents for the characters, uh, go, vary from, from, from bad to very bad, so. <laughs> no, actually, uh, there's a couple characters I, I like doing. Some you guys will probably be able to tell. Some of them are pretty good. Um, so without further ado, let's get to playing. It's time to duel! Alright, so last time we were playing, um, Ivy was trying to convince Kaiba that the, the Shadow Realm existed. And Kaiba was trying to invent some sort of technology uh, that he can use to uh, research the Shadow Realm without disintegrating. Yep, basically. So, so we did some um, like pre uh, DSOD kind of uh, foreshadowing. Um, this campaign, of course, is like non canon, but we try to do um, like imagine if. Uh, if all, all the, the universes collided in Duel Links and everything was kind of happening at the same time, that's kind of like Duel Links is in it and. Duel Links may be what caused all the universes to collide, actually, now that I think about it, but... Yeah. <laughs> so, Ivy, you find yourself, um... Y you've just rested. <sighs> where, where did you sleep? I was in the Aroma Garden. Oh, so you sleep at your the Aroma Garden dormitory. I have, a, I have a place there, if I could find it. I have a little, like, tea house area. Yeah, so you're sleeping in your tea house. Is Joey Wheeler there? Because uh, I brought him with me. 
Yeah, Joey, Joey, sleep, sleep, Joey like, is sleeping on a futon. Yeah, I have, a, I have like a couch thing. Give him some tea. Like, dude, I don't want to lose you. I'm thinking in my head, you're a terrible duelist. And if I lost you in this overgrown garden with all this shadow stuff going on, ugh, then I'd just have to find you again. We've got food in the house. Ah, uh, man, this mattress is more uncomfortable than that time I slept on bricks. <laughs> you slept on bricks? Yeah, a bag of bricks. Okay, I get My up. uncle used to just keep bags of bricks around. That's and so I slept on them. Interesting, Joey. Uh, That's how hard my life was 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 in Brooklyn. Brooklyn sounds like a... <clears throat> That's how I got that Brooklyn rage. Brooklyn sounds like a really difficult place. All right, let's go. We've got to find Yugi and the others. Let's look for Taya first. She's probably the worst duelist out of the bunch. <laughs> okay, so let's go try to rescue Taya. Okay, so you go over to find where Taya is, and you head back in the direction you came towards the front entrance of the uh, the, the hedge maze, okay? In the hedges, you can hear, um, ah, ha, 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 ha. Get away from me! Is that Taya? Yeah. Okay. Shoot! Um, okay. I'm going to roll some dice to try to find her. So, wits and composure, right? Did I hear that? Sounds like some kind of evil monster is trying to eat Taya! Ah, uh, yeah, hopefully he's trying to eat her. Um, could be worse. <laughs> Four. Five. Okay, five dice for wits and composure. We use uh, World of Darkness rules, so all D10s. Um, let's see. One, two successes. Yeah, we should explain how the, 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 the rules actually work. So um, in World of Darkness, when you roll a D10, um, anything from a result of 1 to 7 is a fail, and 8, 9, 10 is a success. But if you roll a 10, you get to roll the dice again. So isn't that neat? So two I'm going to now roll two. Two successes. For the bad guy. To try and figure out which direction she's in. I got skills like a protagonist. I'm protagoning. Only both of mine. It's okay. So? Uh, so two successes. Two successes. Okay, you hear that there's some sort of evil, stompy creature that's like chasing after Taya. I follow the shaking of the earth. Ah, don't. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the one that runs towards the danger. That's pretty typical. Uh, should we be running the other direction? No, we've got to save Teo. Come on, you wuss. Who's Teo? Teo. Oh, yeah, Teo. We're going to save Teo, right? I'm like running and trying to Wait, pronounce Wait, what words. about you and Tristan? Why don't we should get Yug. He could probably help us. You know what? Yug can probably save himself. Let's go for Taya. Uh, all right. I, I Come guess on, so. Come on, Wheeler. Be a man. Just pretend you're saving a giant hot dog. Okay. Or a taco or something. <laughs> yeah. That monster took all your tacos. I'm going to roll for pep, pep, pep talk and use my presence and uh, I, just raw expression, I guess, to um, try and... Uh, Give him an encouraging speech about how the thing took his tacos and he needs to oh, go... This, this, is a, this is a guy here. Guy coming to the front door. Because they walk across our garden. Who is it? Is it someone we know? I don't know. Some guy is just wandering out the front door. The heck? Oh, that's a gardener. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's, I told him there's a check there for him, so he went to go get the check. Sorry, guys. Okay, sorry. Um, all right, so I'm going to roll all of these dice, uh, which is four, five, six, seven, to try and inspire Joey that, like, he needs to pretend the guy, oh, two successes um, versus his fear, I guess, to inspire him that this, like, monster is, like, eating all the tacos or hot dogs, and so he needs to go rescue the, the, the Look, tacos. Ivy, I'm not dumb. I know he's not a, a giant hot dog. No, he's eating them. You remember the hot dog stand? That's in trouble. Oh, there's a tragedy. <laughs> All right, I'm going to summon up some of that Brooklyn rage. Let's get going. <laughs> okay, so um, with two successes, hopefully I go in approximately the right direction of the um, of Taya's screams. Yes. All right. And you find who it is. It is 
the dun, dun, evil dun. spirit of Force Raider. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. Please that's read the scary. description of Force Raider out loud. Force Raider. Okay, it says, This wicked beast warrior does every horrid thing imaginable and loves it. That's terrifying. He's got Taya. His axe bears the marks of his countless victims. I don't want to think about all the horrid imaginable things that I can imagine. <laughs> so I'm going to go. Um, uh, so if spirit spirits are manifesting here, it's fair to say that I can summon them too, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, 1900. Um, as soon as I see Taya, I summon out Jasmine to defend her in defense position. I'm gonna try for that. Okay, I have roll. three. I have uh, three into roll. summon dual monster, and she's a level two monster. Okay, but you're not actually in the shadow. Right? <sighs> okay, so what do I have to roll for that? Hi there, hi Zed, game gone. <laughs> so what, what would I be rolling for that if it's outside the shadow room? Do I get my um, uh, my summon monster level? Just summon monster. So seven level? monster negative yep. the level of the monster. Yeah, but I have three. So you said it's oh, because it's not in the shadow realm, right? Yeah. So two. And that's all huh. you got. You know what? He can do every horrid thing imaginable. I'm going to spend a willpower point. Okay, yes. I'm going to spend a willpower point to get four dice and try to protect my friend Taya. <laughs> One success. All right, Jasmine slides in there in defense position, holding her staff. Going, ah! She's Move probably defense terrified position. because in she's up against In defense position. Make sure that you're in the correct position. Big, sorry. Force Raider, <laughs> attack! <laughs> ching, ching, ching. Okay, because your defense is 1900 and Force Raider's attack is 1900, you have successfully defended yourself against his attack. How dare you! I dare! I will murder you and everyone around you! I'd like Prepare to, to duel! Man, this guy doesn't let you get a catchphrase in edgewise. <laughs> I'd like to see you try! Taya's like, duel. thank God you showed up, Ivy! <laughs> Joey's like, I don't see no hot dog stand. <laughs> <laughs> prepare to duel and prepare to die, mortal. Duel. Duel. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> you gonna choose first or second? I choose second. My deck prefers to go second. I play arrow mages. Hey, Zed Game Gone? Yes, welcome to the chat. Welcome, Game Gone? Welcome, welcome. I will start by playing the two-man cell battle. Phew. Prepare for the cell battle. Cell two games? Men. This isn't Dragon Ball. <laughs> During each player's end phase, each player can special summon one level four or normal, one, one level four normal monster from his or her hand. Do I get to use the skill Aroma Garden because I'm in the Aroma Garden? And I summon this. The Dweller of the Depths! Dun, dun, dun. The Dweller of the Depths gains 300 attack for each continuous spell in my spell and track card zone. <laughs> wow! I don't really like that. So my Dweller much. of the Depths is now 1800 attack. My monster's 1900! I end my turn! Depth Dweller? That's a really hard insult to say. But wait! The two man <laughs> cell battle activates in the end phase, which lets me summon this. Go! Axe Raider! He's an axe wielding master of tremendous strength and agility. <gasps> oh no! Cower in terror as I end my turn! I ain't shook. I draw! <laughs> I set a card, and since we're in the Aroma Gardens, I'll play a field spell. <gasps> aroma Garden! <laughs> it's Aroma Garden. <laughs> I play Aroma Garden in the Aroma Gardens. I then normal summon Arrow Mage Kanunga. I activate Aroma Garden's effect, gaining 500. We don't have a life point counter. Oh, I'll get it out. <laughs> These effects both activate. One, two. That means Jasmine goes first and lets me draw a card, and then Kanunga goes off and makes you return a spell or trap card to your hand. And since the only one you have is two man cell battle, that goes back to your hand. Okay, hold up, hold up. I'm still getting your life point counter out. <laughs> Come on, Neuron, load for me. Loading. Loading. Guys, Neuron, it's a good app. Woo! When it loads! <laughs> there you go, it's, it's gone. 
So uh, we should be at. There we go. Oh, look, my shirt's getting lower. Oops. Sorry. Yeah, guys. careful not to terms of service us. <laughs> I'm not trying okay, to TOS. So this us. goes back to my hand. I didn't realize my boobs were so prominent on stream. Uh, uh, yes, two man okay. cell battle goes back to your hand. Okay. I then set another card, and I will um. End my turn, or, or no, wait, should I attack? What's your attack? My life points are higher than yours because of the thing. Can I be duelist one? Because that's on my side. Sure. Plus five. Oh man, I'm done with this when it's upside right. And right now it's upside down. So I know, but they have to be, right they have those to be able guys. to see it. No, I know it makes perfect sense. But just if I screw it up, keep an eye open, okay? okay. Um, I will attack your dweller in the depths with my arrow mage Kanunga. Boom. Ah! How dare you! I dare! I end my turn! My turn! I draw! I set a card! And I activate the two-man cell battle! Not again! I summon the Dweller in the Depths! What? Didn't I just get rid of that guy? I move the Axe Raider into attack position! And end my turn. I draw. Hmm. I just love the smell of jasmine, and two jasmines are better than one. So I summon Arrow Mage Jasmine in attack position. I'll activate my aroma garden. One, two, three. Jasmine draws. Jasmine draws. Kanunga pops off and returns your set card to your hand. Okay, I'm going to try and move this up a little bit. Not to terms of services. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, so <clears throat> Kananga returns your set card to your hand. That will activate my set card. Face down card. Activate. Order to charge. Uh oh. I select one face up monster on my side of the field when I activate this card. When this card resolves, after the selected normal summon as a tribute, and then destroy one monster on your opponent's side of the field. And they will destroy your Arrow Mage Kanunga! No! <sighs> Kanunga is destroyed. Ugh. That's alright. Jasmine lets me summon one plant monster in additional to my normal summoner set, except for Arrow Mage Jasmine. You can only gain this effect once per turn. Darn it. Okay. So I will summon. Uh. No. I won't use that. My life points are higher than yours, so I'll special summon Arrow Mage Laurel using his own effect. And then I will link summon. Think. Ooh. I link summon for Arrow May Seraphi. I said what's called call her Arrow Mage. Jasmine. I wanna co-link that, because I think that would be cool. Can I only special summon him once per turn? No, each effect is once per turn. So I could use Jasmine's effect. If, if it doesn't say only once per turn, then you can use it um, once per turn per card. You can only use each effect. So can, it's a hard once per turn. Once per turn, yeah. All right, um, I'll special summon, or I'll, I'll normal summon Laurel using Jasmine's effect. Because I haven't used Jasmine's effect yet. I then activate Aroma Garden. Because I haven't done that this turn. Okay. And then... Ja uh, um, one, two, two, one. Maybe I already did. I must have already done that. Although I didn't give my... I guess I didn't give myself the life points for it. But um, shoot. I already did You're that. Going way so too fast. Now <laughs> I'm having problems. I guess I will, um, I'll synchro summon with these two. For Martial Metal Marcher. That extra deck looks like more than eight cards to me. Okay, what was all the after game? 
Okay. Yeah, it's ten. Sorry. So, sorry. I'm going to take out those two. Okay. But actually, you know what? I want to try with that guy. So, um, because he's synchro summoned, I can turn it a tuner in my graveyard and special summon it, but. It no, only tuners. counts as a tuner on the field. Darn, oh, nab it. Darn. Oh, can I synchro summon him in defense position? Yep. Thank you. That's appreciated. That's um, and then I will um, uh, attack. Your columns, your columns are all messed up. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Three. Let me just line them up with you. There we go. We need a field center card. That's the reason why. Yes. Find us a booby card. All of his field centers have boobies on them. One of the ones that we, we're not going to get TOS for. Yeah, pick a non TOSable booby card. Oh, this one. Perfect. I can't actually lurk with this. You have to do explanation mark lurk. Yeah, but I can't explanation mark, is the problem. You can. I think. Good luck. <laughs> um, okay, Jasmine. Well, you got a whole bunch of weird symbols, but no exclamation mark. Yeah, exactly. Jasmine will attack your dweller in the depths. Oh, there we go. Oh no, that did a period. What the heck? See, it's really weird. What the heck? It's bizarre, is what it is. Oh, you have to hold the ship down. Yeah, That's that. dumb. There you go. Then you just a poofled. Okay, but you didn't actually do the poofled because you're right here. <laughs> Poof. Okay, where's your attack? Uh, I'll attack your dweller in the depths with my aroma seraphy jasmine. Okay. So I take 500 damage. Yeah. Ah, uh, sorry, I got out of character because so much ruling stuff. <laughs> I got confused. Yeah, it's just okay. go slower. You don't have to go fast because you're so on stream. Okay, so I end my turn. Okay, I draw. I end my churn and activate two man cell battle to special summon Warrior Die Griefer you know to the you're, field. You're a bad guy, right? So you can cheat. It's, it's allowed. It happens in the series all the Just time. Just take your turn. Okay, um, I draw. Warrior Die Griefer. I'll cheat when I want to cheat. Okay. <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't tell me when to cheat, okay? I mean, I'm not. I'm just. <laughs> I play Junk Synchron, and I special summon a lower level 2 or lower monster from my graveyard in face-up defense position. But unfortunately, she has no, uh, um, things. Oh, I can't use Martial Metal Marcher because he's already a tuner, right? Yep. That's so interesting. Yeah, last time we were playing, Care found out that you can only use one tuner and one non-tuner monster for a synchro. That was upsetting, is what that was. Yep. Um, a little limiting. No matter! I will put together Junk Synchron and Arrow Mage Jasmine to create Aroma Seraphy Jasmine! I feel like this is too bright. It may be. What about the cards? Time to do. I think playing a light already. Time to get serious. Is that better or worse? The cards are completely washed out. I think it's partially because they have like matte protectors. protectors on them. Yeah. So I mean, you could go change the angle of the um, camera of the overhead. Yeah. A little bit. Tilt it down more. Whatever, it's good enough. It's good enough. Okay, so, um, activate Aroma Garden. Everybody gains 500 attack and defense. Since I gained life points, I can add a plant monster from my deck to my hand. One. And two, target a face-up card my opponent controls and negate its effects. <laughs> Gee, so many choices. <laughs> I'll negate your two men's cell battles effects until the end of my turn. And uh, I will get, and then that's two. One goes, so a plant monster from my deck to my hand. I choose 
Ergamal. Okay. Okay. And then a battle phase. I'll attack your warrior die grief do griefer. Die griefer, right? Die griefer. With my aroma seraphy rosemary. Okay. Ha! And I'll attack you directly with aroma seraphy jasmine. I end my turn. Okay, I draw. I play Burden of the Mighty. Oh, no. <laughs> and end my turn. I mean, it doesn't affect Jasmine, at least. I draw. <laughs> hmm. This is a... Uh... Trolley deck? <laughs> more tuners, no more tuners. I will... Normal, normal summon, arrow mage Kananga. Um, aroma garden. You just add, added fifty, but that's okay. But no, I think you added five hundred. It must have added five hundred. <laughs> it just like it looked like you just added only added fifty. Uh, battle phase. Aroma Seraphy Rosemary will attack you directly. Boom. I think that kills you. Uh, That'll teach you to be evil in my garden. <laughs> I'll kill you next time, Ivy. Ooh, it knows my name. And he, like, disintegrates. Horrifying that he's planning on coming back here again. You saved me, Ivy. Thanks. Taya, are you okay? Yeah, but now we got to find you. Tristan's worse off. He's in the Shadow Realm. I'll find Yugi, and, and you guys can go with him. I'll go in the tra Shadow Realm and... You're right. That you could really help us out. All right, let's find Yugi. This thing is so cool. The Marshall Metal Marcher. He's a marching band. He's the best. <laughs> okay, so um, I will try to search for Yugi. Okay. Do, 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 I got the Kaiba hacking theme in my head, but I'm pretty sure okay. you get DMC you start, if you played it. You start searching for Yugi. Yugi! You head out into the gardens. And when you head out into the gardens, you notice that the uh, the, the, the garden path seems to like twist and turn. And and, and uh, you notice that there is um, uh, a branching path from here. Ooh, a branching path. Would you like to head left or right? I'm going to go with my gut. I'm going to roll for my gut. One to four is... Oh, wait. Is there any sound of them? Like, are they... Are, can I hear them in the distance? You can roll for that. Okay, so wits and composure for a perception check? Yep. Wits and composure. One, two. Two. Three. 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 Just three. So with three successes, you determine that it sounds like they're coming from the right. Okay. In the rightward direction. You know what? It's a maze. So if I go left, I should end up on the right. I'm going to roll for intelligence. Okay. No, I should probably just go Why right. Are you rolling for intelligence? <laughs> to see if that was a dumb idea or not. <laughs> I'm going to go to the right. Okay, so you head right. Yeah. Okay, following down the rightward path, you can start to hear... Um, Yugi and Jaden running through the woods. Watch out! Oh no! Doosh, doosh. Gee, if something's chasing Yugi and he's uh. running, it, it's gotta be serious. Watch out! That's that's a dual spirit! It's Mother Grizzly! Oh gosh! I ran into this thing before. Didn't Kyla uh. like punch this thing? <laughs> I think at some point we were like in the shadow realm or something like that and Kaiba like punched Run! Mother Grizzly. <laughs> oh, this is definitely not chill. You hear Jaden say as he starts running. I'm going to run with my friends. Yep. Oh, that's not better or worse. Okay, yeah, I'm going to run. Okay, so you, you start running. Okay. I think I'm going to come up behind the Grizzly Bear. <laughs> Are you going to run away or towards? Towards. I'm trying okay, to help. You need to be specific. 
Yeah, I realized that. I'm going to run towards the danger. So like, like, you run t towards? Do you run away? Do you run around in circles? Uh, I'm going to try to run. Like, I don't want to run out and then, like, end up being chased by the bear. Okay. I want to try to, like, come up behind it. I'm not sure how possible that is, but I'm no, just kind of keeping the, my eyes I gave open. you. All right, I run towards. Run towards, run away, run around in circles. Run to the danger. Okay, you run towards the danger. Yay! As you start running towards the danger, you suddenly find uh, Jaden running towards you, fleeing, like running as fast as he can. I'm gonna start running in the same direction as Jaden. So you f you t turn a one eighty and start running the other way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where is Joey and Tris uh, Taya? Uh, they are with you, and they're all. We're like, all running. You're okay, all running. That's good. Like, what are we running from? A grizzly Joey bear. Says. I tell them. Jaden says, just keep running. Don't worry about it. Don't think too hard. You guys continue running until you find yourself back out in that little courtyard area that you were in before. Oh. Oh, that place. With the hot dog stand. Ah, the hot dog stand. You know what? I think that it was fate that we found ourselves back here, guys. Uh, get ready. I don't know. I don't have a plan right now. If it is a grizzly bear and it doesn't want to duel, I'm probably just going to throw cards at it. I've seen Seto do that before. He's really good at that. But I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you're, you're in um, the, the, the kind of park area when you start to hear... Um, uh, it sounds like Yugi is running through the, the, the maze as well. And you can hear the growling. Wait, is Yugi being chased doom, now? Doom. Dun, dun. Ah! You guys stay here. I'm gonna find Yugi. Yug, just uh, whip out your deck and duel it or something. Uh, Joey, he might be in real danger. Taya says to him. You guys stay here. I'm gonna find Yugi. I take off. Is he coming our way? Like, yep. is he gonna end up here? All right. I, I suggest to the gang that they hide. It sounds like they're coming this way. You guys should probably hide from the inclement grizzly bear. There was a crazy grizzly bear that was chasing us. Yeah, well, it sounds like it's still coming this way. Uh-oh. Doom, 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 doom. I'm going to stand my ground. I go find a good dueling spot and stand my ground. Okay, so um, as Yugi comes running back, he uh, joins you guys in the park. And this kind of creature starts like, kind of shambling through the, 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 the hedge out of the, uh, the maze. And uh, Yugi turns around, he pulls his dual disc out, and he's just like, All right, now it's time to make our last stand. Pharaoh, if you can hear me right now, I could really use your help. Ah, uh, you don't need him, you've got me. Let's duel this thing. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I'm going to roll to see. <laughs> see, I have one resolve and one composure, so and let's see. And he, and he comes out of the maze, and it's Fluffle Bear. Prepare to duel fight first. Oh, that's actually scarier than a... <laughs> that's way more terrifying than Mother Grizzly. The fight first are very scary. Here they are. Is that a Power of the Guardians? Yeah. Which deck also has it? Rock deck. Oh, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, my God. The Fright Fruits are going to own me. They're really strong. Like, I... I you know what? I'm going to do my best. It's time to duel. Oh, this this deck has an artifact Dagda in it. Here we go. There's the Fluffle Bear, guys. That's the thing, terif thing, terrifying bear that they were all running from. Is it, like, eight feet tall or some stupid thing? Yeah, it is. Oh, my God. It's, it's so huge. cute, but, like... It's super huge and terrifying and cute and adorable. There's Fluffle Bear for you guys. He's got wings. A bear wings. Ah! I shout. He has a... He has, um, he has a deck master ability. Oh, what's his deck master ability? His deck master ability is that uh, Fluffle Monsters... Gain 200 attack for each Fluffle monster in the graveyard. That's not good.
Give me a second. I'm trying to figure out what I want to put in here. So I'll release that. Because this, the, I actually was rebuilding this deck to make it kind of more OP, but I'm not going to put a lot of those cards in. But yes, take your moment to, to side deck your, your deck and prepare for battle oh boy. against the Fluffle Bear. I know what I need. Do you guys know what I need? I'm not afraid. I'm afraid. I'm like frightened. All right, I am fright furred. I'm fright feared. I'm fright frightened. Jordan's like no. <laughs> He's making no faces at me. I'm not making no faces at you. <laughs> oh my god! No care. No. No care. No. Don't I have more toy vendors in this? I guess not. I thought I had more toy vendors in this. Turbo! It's a 40 though, right? Uh, no, it's, 20, it's a speed duel deck. Okay. gonna do the best that we've got with what we have. Alright. That's the plan, man. You ready? Um, ish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Also, Ash Blossom's limited to one, by the way. In Speed Duel. Okay. I think I only have one. I think I took the other one out of my deck because we were discussing the fairness of it. Is Monster Reborn also limited? Uh, yeah. You gotta choose between Monster Reborn or uh, Ash Blossom. Ooh. See, I didn't put a Monster Reborn in my deck because I have a fight for Reborn in my deck. What about Harold? That's fine. Ghost? That's fine. Okay, I'm ready. I'm possibly ready. I'm scared though. Ooh, I don't think called by the grave makes sense against your deck. Cause your I don't think your effects actually activate no, they don't. in the graveyard. Oh some of them do. Do they? Yeah. I thought the other one. Just call by the stop the graveyard effects. It's actually OP for, for that. The banish is one card in the graveyard. Only until the end of your next turn. What? Well, it stops oh. the effect from going. No, no, no. Oh yeah, it does banish it. But then the effects are negated until the end of your next turn. Okay, I understand. I was misridden that. Misridden. Misridden. Ready? Yeah. Ready? 
You want to cut my deck, Mr. Floofle Bear? Boop. I feel like Floofle Bear's flavor text is just roar. Ready? One, two, three. Rock, paper, scissors. Doof. I will go first. Okay. Which sounds like... If you don't speak bear. Pod duality effect. Reveal the top three cards of the deck. Add one of them to the hand. Then shuffle the rest back into the deck. I add Fluffle Bear. Because I'm Fluffle Bear. Rawr! I'm going to activate my own effect. I activate Fluffle Bear's effect. I can send him from the hand of the graveyard to set one toy vendor directly from my deck to the spell and trap card zone. Okay, then I'm going to activate toy vendor. Once per turn, I can discard one card and then draw one card and reveal it. If it is a fluffle monster, I can special summon one card from my hand. Otherwise, discard the card I drew. So let me think here. Let's get rid of... Fluffle Penguin. Draw a card. And then discard a card. Okay. Then I'm going to normal summon Fluffle Dog. When he's normal summon, I can add one Edge of Sables or Fluffle Monster from my deck to my hand. And I will add the Edge of Sabers. Roar! Roar! Polymerization. Fluffle Dog and Edge of Sabers will become... Fight for Wolf. And I will end my turn. I draw. That's scary. That's scary. What's that thing's effect? Must be fusion summoned and cannot be summoned other ways. This card can attack a number of times during each battle phase up to the number of fusion materials used for its fusion summon. And he's got 2,000 attack, right? So it can attack twice, it's got 2,000 attack. I set a card. I will... Now negate your monster's effects. <laughs> you probably should have saved that to your turn, but that's okay. It is my turn, isn't it? It's your turn right now. Oh, I shouldn't You already used do it. that. I will negate your monsters. Why was I feeling like you could attack me on my turn? I feel You're attacked. intimidated by it. Do you want to I'm, go back? I'll let yeah, you go back. I'll I'm, let you go back. I'm super okay. intimidated. Um, I will play... Rosemary! Okay. I'm actually scared now. I am. My turn. Roar! That activates my humid winds. You're roaring. <laughs> um, I will pay a thousand life points to add an aroma monster from my deck to my hand. I choose marjoram. Can you deduct a thousand life points from me, yes. sir? Yes. I know it's hard to think about it. It's hard to think about upside it upside down. down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, and it's still your turn. Roar! Frightful Wolf will attack. Effect Miller. Okay, so it can only attack once. Boom. 
Yep, Rosemary is destroyed <laughs> and sent to the graveyard. That allows me to special summon my oh. Marjoram. Because Marjoram has an effect. When a plant monster you control is destroyed by battle, you can special summon this card from your hand, then gain 500 life points. Woo! If you gain life points, target cards in your opponent's graveyard up to the number of aroma monsters you control and banish them. So I can banish one card. I'm going to banish your Edgemp Sabres. Because oh, I think fucker. that's going to make it difficult for you. You're a fucker. Okay. Um, and then, um, yeah, it's still your turn. So you don't get a main phase two, though, right? So I think that means I end my turn, dog. All right. I draw. Since my life points are still lower than his, I'm going to uh, use Human Wind's second effect to gain 500 life points, which allows me to banish a card. Any card? Grr. I'm going to banish a poly. Okay. Um, frig. I can't really gain any more life points, so I'm kind of limited right now. My life points are also the same as his, and he's going to be able to attack me twice. It's not looking good, guys. Uh... Does he have an effect in the graveyard by any chance? Not that I'm asking for a friend. Okay. Uh, I'm going to set a card in defense position and end my turn. <laughs> Character acting. Method acting? What's it called when you, like, get some... <laughs> 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 Toy vendor effect. Draw a card. Once per turn, I discard one card, and then I can draw a card and reveal it. So discard the Fluffle Owl, draw a card and reveal it. Okay. It's a Fluffle card. And I can special summon it from my hand if I want to. Sure. Summon the Fluffle one with the defense position. Mm -hmm. Battle phase. Grr. Fight for a wolf will attack your face down card. Jasmine! No! Jasmine dispoofles out of existence. Fight for a wolf will attack your marjoram. They both have 2,000 attack. Grr. Uh. At least I take no battle now. That was stupid. I should have had someone in attack position. Okay, I screwed that one up. I guess you end your turn. I draw. I play Aroma Gardening. That's I'm speaking turn bear, not dog, around. by the way. Oh, I thought you were speaking wolf, but that makes sense. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend. I'm the Fluffle Bear. Right. Okay. You're the Fluffle Bear. Hi, MC Frosty. I didn't mean to offend you by, like, thinking you were speaking Fright for Wolf when actually you were speaking Fluffle Bear. I'm so sorry for any offense. I play Arrow Mage Kananga. And I'll pay a thousand life points on my humid wins. Can you deduct a thousand? It's upside down. To um, get an aroma monster from my deck to my hand. How you doing today, MC Frosty? I'm a pole laurel. It's a dumb one, but okay. Okay. It could help. No. Jasmine could help more. All right. I'm going to pull Jasmine. Okay. Then, since my life points are lower than yours, I will use Humid Wind's second effect to gain 500 life points. Plus, Foof Hendered. Uh, gee, what's your Fluffle Wings effect? Uh, yeah. Okay. If this card is in the graveyard and you control Toy Vendor, you can banish this card from the graveyard, then target one Fluffle monster in your graveyard, banish it. If you do draw a card, then you can send one toy vendor you control the graveyard, and if you do draw another card. Okay. Um going to attack. Boom. Wings is destroyed. Scary. I end my turn. Roar! Floofal bear! He's really serious, Fluffle Growls till you're done. I summon the Fluffle Dog. 
Okay, what does Floofle Dag do? When you use normal summon, I can add one Adjunct Sabers or Fluffle Monster from my deck to my hand. Floofle Dog has really high attack for a puppy. And my life points, again, are not higher than yours. Uh, I'm going to activate Humid Winds effect. Yep. Uh, to gain 500 life points because my life points are uh, lower than yours. Which okay. allows me to return your toy vendor to your hand. Okay. I mean, it's your turn, so ultimately that doesn't hurt you much. You activate can just toy vendor? Play, yeah, play toy vendor. <laughs> Uh, toy vendor activate, and then I'm gonna activate Fluffle Wings. If this card in the graveyard, and I control a, control a toy vendor. I banish this card from the graveyard. Then target one Fluffle monster in the graveyard and banish it. Let's go with Fluffle Bear. Then I get to draw a card. Your deck master just banished himself. Then I can send toy vendor I control to the graveyard, and then draw another card. And then, I'm going to activate Polymerization. Roar! I don't think the viewers are actually updating. Because, like, yeah, how come? It says one viewer. I have two different accounts watching, and MC Frosty might be on there still. Like, it never. It just never up. It's just not updating viewers for some reason. I don't know. Twitch is weird like that. The heck. Twitch. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, fluffle dog, plus agent sabers, mm -hmm. plus fluffle penguin. Four. I'm not Fusion gonna like this. summon. I guarantee Go! I'm not gonna like this. Fluffle tiger. Roar! When this guy has fusion summon, I can target cards on the field up to the number of fusion materials used for his fusion summon, and then destroy them. So I'm gonna destroy all of your cards. That activates my humid winds. Yes, indeed. I'll pay a thousand life points to grab a card from my deck to my hand. Does it have to be... Can it be just a plant monster? It has to be Aroma. Okay. Otherwise, Spore would have been a good pick. Let's go with Laurel. Laurel. Add Laurel from my deck to my Roar! hand. Cutter boop. Boop. Okay. Battle phase. Yeah. It's going to go real Fight for a tiger. We'll attack. Okay. Roar. I don't even have enough life points left to herald you, boy. I just realized something. What? We're backwards again on the cameras. You're supposed to be on that side. I don't think you're supposed to be on this side. Yep. Makes it look can like... Can I just take this one and reverse it again? Remember we did that? Um, flip horizontal? Mm -hmm. Is that? Now everything's backwards. What the heck? That's one. I think that's what we did last time and we just left everything backwards. You know, but that's dumb. I don't want to do it backwards. Because we probably didn't have we'll a map that said Yu Gi Oh! Hey, what? MC Frosty, are you still there? There we go, now it's in the right way. You can make my camera a little smaller. Smaller? Yeah. How much smaller? Smaller. That's bigger. I mean, not like shorter, but like yeah. less. You don't have to make it shorter. It can be the same size as yours. I'm just saying it can be less wide, like narrower. What do you mean? I can't make. I can't actually change it. And make it more narrower. Okay. Something like that. Yeah, like that. Something like that. That's actually bigger than it was before. Okay, then, um, so when this, uh, penguin activates, when I fusion summon Fright for Tiger, I forgot to activate Fluffle Penguin's effect. Yeah, 
You know, I'm gonna say that I missed the timing. Whatever, your turn. Because it says you can. I draw. Yes. I win. I play a Roma Garden. Freaking finale. I play Jasmine in attack position. Oh, nice. Okay. I activate a Roma Garden, gaining 500 life points. Jasmine lets me draw a card. Yes. All right. We're going somewhere now. All right. I have 1,600 life points. I'm going to risk it all, ladies and gentlemen. What's okay. your attack? Yeah, I have to. I kind of, because this will kill me otherwise. Okay. I play Harold. No! Yes. I herald your fright for tiger. So you pay fifteen hundred life and you declare. Um. What type are you? Fiend. Dark. Why don't you look at this card and you tell me what? I don't know. Type you can't read it from there. Is. Dark fiend. Right. I don't know. I'm not gonna tell you. I ch I declare dark fiend fusion effect. Well, you just have to say Dark Fiend. <laughs> okay. yeah. I so I, only, get everything I only have on there. one Dark Fiend on my side of the field, so yes. I send my Fright for Tag in the Greenyard. And I went down to 100 life points. I'm going to pull a Yugi Moto now. I get to normal summon an additional monster. I normal summon Laurel. Laurel. Um, These are styling right now. Uh, I need to gain life points, however. I am going to. Frig! I'm in trouble. All right, hang on. I gotta check my graveyard. Gotta check my grave. Gotta check my grave. I hate you. You know that? I hate you. I could cheat. Should I go for an apple? I was gonna wait for you to finish. How about turn. you shut up? You're winning. You, you got no point in saying that. All right. How am I fucking winning? I end my turn with nothing on my. Oh field. no no no! Sorry, I'm gonna go to okay, my battle I phase. Draw. Battle phase. I attack with Jasmine. Good game. Wait, no. Oh, wait. No, I have 100 life points. Jasmine gives you 600 damage. You, you already ended already. And Laurel gives you 800 damage. It's not like you're not going to win next turn, okay? I end my turn. Okay. You guys can see this game gets pretty vicious. <laughs> yeah. Draw! And I'm going to play... Fluffle Octopus in attack position. This allows me to choose one Edge Imp or Fluffle monster in my graveyard and add it to my hand. I add the Edge Imp Sabers. And then I'm going to play Fright for Fusion. That activates my Blessed Twins. Bless it. Blessed Twins. I'm going to send a pot plant monster from my face up field to my graveyard. Sending Laurel. Since when he is sent to the graveyard, I can gain 500 life points and also 500 off of Blessed Winds, which means I gain a thousand life points. Oh, wow. That activates Jasmine's effect, and I can draw a card. Yes! Okay, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to banish. Um, oh, I can't do that. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, so I'm going to do... Get rid of Fright for Tiger. And... Fluffle Dog. Oh, boy. What you gonna do, boy? And Fluffle Octopus. What you gonna summon? And I'm going to summon Fright for Sabertooth. Oh, that's not good. If the guy that. was summoned using three or more fusion materials, it cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. Oh, good to know. What's its attack? And then Red Flyful Octopus's effect activates if it's used for a fusion summon. If it's used for the fusion summon of a threat for fusion monster, I can target two banished monsters and return them to the graveyard. So I'm going to set target Fluffle Bear and Edge of Sabers and put them back in the graveyard. Battle phase! Roar! Can I pay a thousand? Fright for Sabertooth will attack you. Did your I use Jasmine. Blessed Winds already? I think I already used Blessed Winds. No, I, I don't think you used it this round. Did you? Uh, uh, um. If anybody's in chat, you guys let me know if if if, if Ivy has already used her Blessed Winds. Did I winds. cheat? 
Can I cheat? You can use it. Go ahead and use it. I'm fine. I'm fine with that. I will. Oh, Jesus. Um, you're 2,400, right? Yes. I have, I have 600 life. So that's going to end poorly for me. You're 2,400. You got 600 attack. Uh huh. So you're going to take 1,800 damage, and you only have 1,100 life. I'm going to be sad. I gained a thousand life though after you kill me. I play enemy controller for my hand. Can I play that for my hand? No, you have to set it first. Dang. Ivy, you have been sent to the shadow realm. Oh, I hate it when this happens. So much for me being like, it's cool, I got this, don't pussy out, Yug. Yeah, so so Yugi seems super dismayed that you got sent to the Shadow Realm, and you see, like, I as you're getting... I give him a thumbs up. As you're getting... As you're getting <laughs> basically, the, the bear comes over, and he runs you with the claws, and you feel yourself, like, the universe kind of opens up, and it, like, sucks you into the Shadow Realm. I'm, like, cut in half. But you see that, um, Yugi, he, 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 um, he's like, no, you can't hurt my friends! Oh, does it give him the Yugi! Yay! See, I help. And he becomes tall Yugi. And he I gets ready helped. to duel the, 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 the fluffle bear. But I you are unfortunately sent to the Shadow Realm. It happens. Before <laughs> you're able to save your friends, you've been sent to the Shadow Realm. That's okay. I was really... The, that was my point. I was trying to just bring out the best in Yugi. You know? Like, I was literally... I was, I was just helping. Yep. That's Helping okay. by being bad at games. You might be able to find the last person now that you are in the Shadow Realm. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> I might be more helpful here because I can figure so, out what happened to Tristan. You arrive in the Shadow Realm. You hear some ominous laughter. Oh god, Merrick or Bakura. Probably Bakura. Oh. You came to find out whether or not the Shadow Realm's nice this time of year, have you? It's always nice in the shadows, isn't it, um, Bakura? It's Just... always nice in the shadows when your heart is full of malice and hatred! <laughs> you know, I was planning on bringing Seto here on vacation. <laughs> well, too bad. Now you are alone in the shadows with me. Prepare to duel, Ivy. That's, uh, kind of, you know... Uh, is that a come on? <laughs> I'm going to try out Bakura's new cards, guys. I'm going to show them the camera. Care, don't look. Okay, I'm not going to... These are new cards I got just for Bakura's deck. Fixing my hair. Anybody who's watching, you may know what this is. Aw, uh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So give me a second. got to go assemble Bakura's deck. And if you'll give me a moment, you can go have a snack or whatever if you snack need one. Snack time! Snack time, guys. Do a quick break while I set up my deck here. Do, do. Oh, this has been so much fun so far. <laughs> I'm like uh, totally like XP face over this. Snack time. Speaking of decks, I always kind of have a bit of problems. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. I got Bakura's deck right here. Is it like powered up? Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, I've I... been uh, uh, powering it up like crazy. Well, considering. Last time it, you got wrecked? Yeah. That's fair. Heavy Breathing 76 is still, still playing the Arrow Mages? Yes. Yes! Haha! <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, well, because we're playing a campaign. So, um, the campaign is oh, yeah. I play Arrow Mage and breathing. he plays everybody else. Look away from the screen for a second. I'm going to show, uh, and I was playing Heavy a... Breathing, the card, the deck that I'm playing. I'm playing Bakura, but guess what I've got? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can look now. Is he going to wreck me? Be real. Yes! Like D and D, but for Yu-Gi-Oh. So my OC, my my character's name is uh, Ivy Usagi. I am a dual queen, and uh, accidental shadow realm 
Walker. Right now, I fell into the Shadow Realm because I got my ass kicked by a Fright for deck. And uh, you've been sent to the Pearl Shadow Realm. To play a little game. Uh, how does this work? So we are actually playing. It, it's think about it like D and D, but all the battles are Yu Gi Oh games, um, Yu Gi Oh matches. And uh, instead of D, have you ever played World of Darkness? Heavy breathing. Heavy. I'm gonna call you heavy. Breathing. Nope. Okay. So World of Darkness. Did you play? Have you played D and D? Do do do. I mean, well, you know what D and D is. Yeah. Okay. So D and D has like a whole bunch of different dice, right? You have D four, six, ten, twelve, sometimes, <laughs> and twenties. Uh, World of Dark Darkness only uses D tens. World of Darkness. Oops. Um, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> that, that was life. a Freudian slip. <laughs> Ha ha ha! I'm a dork. World okay. of darkness. Good joke, care. Uh, so this is a world of dark. Let it slide. World of darkness character sheet. So they're used for playing vampires, demons, all of those kind of world of darkness things. And so you have different skills, um, and merits. You have attributes. It's kind of similar to D and D, except that everything is based on rolling d tens. And how it works is, say you have like three in one skill and you add an attribute so it's same as D, D, right like you'd add intelligence plus your crafts if you're crafting something and uh okay so it doesn't go like as high like you're never gonna have 20 ranks in something kind of thing you could have like three dots in a skill and you have to buy those with experience so you don't level so much as you um you level certain things as you get experience and then you roll that number of dice. So if I had three dots in, say, crafts and three dots in intelligence and I wanted to craft something, I would roll six d10s and any eight, nines, or tens, oh, I should have saved that roll, are a success. <laughs> nice roll. Because four successes. And then tens, you actually roll again. So an exceptional success is five successes. Kind of okay success is like one to two, like, yeah, about barely. And kind of three plus, you're, you're fairly successful is what you, at, at what you're doing. So instead of doing like normal combat with that, where you'd be rolling dice, um, we are doing Yu-Gi-Oh games. And you have, uh, it's our OC, I mean, it's basically like all the Yu-Gi-Oh worlds smashed together. There's some time, space, weird stuff going on. Dual links exists and you can go into it and duel people. So it was a big excuse for us to build um, all the main characters decks from the Yu-Gi-Oh series. Oh, totally. And um, at least like their crummy decks. And I've been building up my deck, so it makes it a little easier for me to go against villains, although sometimes like a floople bear kicks my ass. That was yep. fun. <laughs> um, the I'm lesson here that. is don't try putting new cards in your deck to see what'll happen. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so currently my character has fallen into the shadow realm. She's a spicy duel queen. So always got to come back. Um, and uh, what the kind of abilities you have is like you can get as like your spells or your special abilities, so to speak, is like if you're in the Shadow Realm, the ability to summon a card from your deck as a real kind of dual spirit or the ability to see dual spirits or the ability to activate spells or traps in the Shadow Realm. Uh, not so much in real life, but in our campaign, the world is kind of effed, and uh, a lot of the shadow is spilling into a lot of real life. So there's a lot of opportunities for that kind of thing. My character hangs out a lot with uh, um, Seto Kaiba, and... Uh, you're, let's be real. You're, you're Seto Kaiba's boy, uh, girlfriend. Boyfriend? <laughs> He's your boyfriend. I wear the pants. <laughs> no, yeah, no way. He wears the flowing cape. Um, yeah, so... Um, but like, and so it drives her crazy because he doesn't believe in the shadow realm. She keeps trying to drag him there to like show him what what's up, and yeah, he doesn't care. So that's really <laughs> cool that you have a campaign where you're um, in uh, venturing through Avernus. Is it fifth edition? Yeah, it's like a fifth edition supplement. That's cool. That's really cool. So yeah, it's the same kind of idea, different system, uh, and we kind of took World of Darkness, and because we thought, you know what, being able to roll and stuff when you're like okay, my character does singing, does modeling, does whatever. I'm going to roll for it. It was just a nice supplement so you can have story kind of in between each of the duels. And then we can duel with about 30 or 40 different decks as well. <laughs> right? I'm always playing the same one. But I love my deck. Ah. 
and Jordan does all the voices and plays all the different characters. So currently, I have fallen into the Shadow Realm and I'm about to battle Bakura and get my... Hopefully, I don't get my butt handed to me in the Shadow Realm because that could not be good. I would probably turn into my evil counterpart or just die. Yep, but... we're going to see what happens. <laughs> Yay! So, we'll... um. <clears throat> We'll see. Uh, I'm trying to kind of tune up my deck a bit. I don't know. He's been working a lot on Bakura's deck, so I don't actually know what's in there. I so, do. I, yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> can I at least use my skill? Yeah, I can. Okay, I'm going to start with Aroma Garden on the field then. Yeah, that's fine. And the skills... Have you played Duel Links? Have you? I can't remember. I remember we talked before. I don't remember if you played Duel Links. Because if you do, the, the thing about our campaign is um, one of the things we made that you could buy with experience was um, like someone can train you and then you can buy it with experience uh, skills and dual links. And then we have a lot of cards at home, like rando packs from like where you buy the, the cheap packs, mm -hmm. from the dollar store or whatever. So if you do well in the campaign, you can spend gems and buy packs, which is cool. And then like a pack of three cards and then potentially have cards to add to your deck although it's kind of like real life good luck finding pretty something pretty much whatever useful. I decide to give her and sometimes not always great it's like wow a um like a what was it <laughs> wow 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 Well, it's not always great for your, like, just like pulling packs. It's nothing to say that you'll be able to actually add it to your deck, really. Sometimes. You're pretty Can nice, though. This? You're pretty Eight, nice four, about six, stuff. I'm going to play my little bum off here. You play your bum. You play that bum. Okay, I have, a, I have a deck now. You ready? Uh, just give me one sec. Okay. I need to count my cards here. You know, I feel like I should put an MST in there just to be safe, because I no longer have my... Uh, um... MST is, is, is fair. You can play that in speed duels for sure. Yeah, but I, I was playing harpies, but you can't play harpies in speed duels, so... So that's a thing. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to send you into the darkness below! <laughs> yeah, that's the card. It's called Into the Darkness Below. That's my skill card. It's actually called Into the Darkness Below. One, two, three. Four. Spoopy. Spoopy doopy. Are you spooked? Have I spooked you? I got 29 cards. This is going to go well. That's good, right? 29 <laughs> cards is a good number. Yes, very good for me. <sighs> so you think, sir, but I will be right back because my mom just called. I have to text her. Alright guys, we're going to take a short break here, I guess. Uh, just 30 seconds. Entertain Super Reef. Okay. Well, I was, I was going to grab a snack or something. I'm starting to feel snacky. Y'all don't mind if I go grab a snack, eh? I'm going to reset the life points anyways. Here we go. I'm gonna be right back, guys. I'm gonna grab uh, a, a, a snack. I won't be long. <laughs> 20 minutes later. There you go. What do you got? A cracker and a granola bar. Ooh, crackers and granola bar? That's okay. I'm down with the cracker and the granola bar. 
Are you prepared to fight Bakura? Play, play, play. I'm play, play. What's up, babe? What's up? I activate my skill. Aroma Garden? Mm hmm. Arrow Mage Specialist! I activate my skill into the darkness below. That's not good. Guess what'll happen to you when you lose? <laughs> I don't want to fall into the darkness below. That sounds like a bad time. Oh, we're we're doing this thing. Okay. We're not stacking our decks, are we? This reminds me of that one Team APS video where <laughs> he was like, I need my special Yu-Gi-Oh flipper. That wasn't APS, that was Milano. Oh, was it Milano? Milano, yeah. Sorry, Milano. It's, it's the, the sketch was called How Some Yu-Gi-Oh Players Shuffle Like Psychopaths. That's really funny. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> my hair is crazy today, but whatever. If you shuffled cards like that, I'd probably murder you. Ready? Ready! Cut my neck, cut my neck. I'm kind of playing with dice here because I put more monsters in my deck and then like cut down the spell and trap cards but put in a jar of avarice so I hope that you're ready I hope that I'm lucky to lose to win rock paper scissors rock <laughs> I did scissors oh. but you were looking at the stream you win I, <laughs> I, will, I will go second you're a jerk begin your destruction. I set a card. I play Arrow Mage Jasmine. I activate Aroma Garden. It. Jasmine's effect activates and I draw a card. Due to Jasmine, I can play one additional monster. I play Arrow Mage. Arrow Mage. Arrow Mage Rosemary. A nice Baron and Nazis here. Words are hard. Duel! Hi! Hi, yeah. Nancy. 
We're, we're playing the Yu-Gi-Oh! RP duel thing, so you can see what that's about. <laughs> I play Rosemary, and I end my turn. My Chen. I'm in a place I called draw. the Shadow Realm, which is basically hell. <laughs> hmm. I might offer you a cup of tea, but I also might offer you a cup of pain. I Aww. begin by playing the lure. The lure of darkness! <laughs> oh, that's not good. I draw two cards and add them to my hand. Then I send w banish one dark monster from my hand. Yeah, this is the T deck. I'm playing the T deck. He's playing the evil villain deck because he's an evil villain right now. And I've fallen into the Shadow Realm, which is basically hell. And um, you know, I guess it's more like purgatory, because there are worse places. It's still pretty hmm. bad. You lose your I mind. set a card, and I will activate this. Are you ready? It's Christmas for you, Ivy, because Santa Claus is here. Are you special summoning? Santa Claus is a special gift. <clears throat> that I give to you by tributing one of your monsters. Are you special summoning? Tribute summon. Oh. Oh yeah, it's special summon. It's a special summon. Ghost sister. Does it count as a special summoning your side of the field? You're special summoning. Does it matter where it ends up? Nope. I guess not. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna tribute your arrow me. You're a big Jasmine. jerk. <laughs> no, Jasmine! And give you Santa Claus. Santa Claus can special summon this card to your opponent's field in defense position if summoned this way during the end phase of this turn you can draw a card why did you summon me a monster I end my turn and you get to draw a card you can draw a card you draw a card because you're, you're the one who controls that card I know it's confusing isn't it right what okay I'll draw a card now, I mean I'm not gonna your turn, you can draw another card complain but I draw and I'm now confused. I will activate the card that will bring your doom are you ready yeah. I will activate the magical forces of the Destiny Board! Uh-oh. When this card is activated, it will spell your destruction. When this card and all four spirit message cards with different names are placed onto the field, I automatically win the duel. Bakura, we're playing a speed duel. Once per turn, during your opponent's end phase... I place one spirit message card from my hand or deck into the spell a trap code zone face up. And if I spell out the, the letters of your demise, you will die. <laughs> Bakura, there's only three spell and trap card zones in a speed duel. Yes, and now is my perfect opportunity <laughs> to cheat. <laughs> so it'll say Finn instead of filled the <laughs> final. Um... Uh, what would the deck build to fight a T, 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 t deck be? Well, um, so my deck is really good at summoning monsters and, um... Yeah, try to keep your life Yeah, up. and gaining life points. So there's one card that really screws me up, which means every time you should gain life points, you lose them instead. Anything like that, that's gonna screw me. Anything that prevents me from special summoning or anything like that, that that'll also screw me. There's, there's like, a lot of different ways. I end my church. It's kind of complicated. Okay, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I draw. So, is there a way to get rid of your... I play Mystical Space Typhoon on your Destiny board. <gasps> Seriously? Yes! <laughs> okay. I feel like you probably have another one in your deck. Okay. At least I stopped the countdown for now. Uh, if he gets all five cards out, I think he wins. Don't you? Yes, indeed. And you will plunge into the darkness below! <laughs> Not quite. I'm going to play Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. And then... Oh, I don't have anybody that good. I will, um... <laughs> hmm. Nasty. This is harder than it sounds. <laughs> I will, uh, Link Summon, Decode Talker, sending all three of these guys 
and to that will graveyard. activate my face down card. I activate offerings to the doomed. What does that do? I target one card that you control, troll, and destroy it. Instantly dooming your decode talker to the darkness of the graveyard. In when addition, uh, your opponent activates a card or effect, you contribute them all. I don't count point at anything. Okay. You could do that if you could had a monster your Shut opponent. up! <laughs> but because you don't, I guess you die! <laughs> well, you're rude. You're a rude man, do you know that? I guess I end my turn. My turn! And thus begins the beginning of your demise! <laughs> like bad company destroys a tea party or irritable owl syndrome? <laughs> I mean, there's lots of... I set a card. <laughs> I set a card. Thank you, Baron and Nancy. I activate my skill. There's lots of different I archetypes. Draw. There's one called, like, Garbage Kids. Trash I Kids. I set a card. And end my churn. They would probably destroy a tea party. I draw. That will activate my trap card, Ivy. You're a dick. Your drawing <laughs> activates my... Destiny board! Oh, for frig's sakes! Oh, that's annoying. Now that the Destiny board is on the field, its evil magic will soon spell your demise! Actually, it's gonna spell final, not your demise. Although that it would be a lot... It shall spell death for you. Oh, I don't like that idea. <laughs> I don't like that idea at all! Isn't this a fun game? Aren't you happy that you decided to play a children's card game with me? Is it my turn? Did I draw? Still your turn. Did I draw? Yeah. Did I draw? Yeah. Did I draw? Baron? I think I drew. Did I draw? You drew already. I drew. I special summon a monster. My life points are higher than yours. And so that will activate my second trap card. <clears throat> your summoning of a monster activates this. Sentence of doom. Is it? That's not a full sentence. That's just a phrase. This is your sentence. <laughs> It better be grammatically correct. You can target any number of fiend monsters that are banished or in the graveyard. <laughs> up to a number of destiny <laughs> boards and or spirit message cards I control and add them to my hand. Baron and Nancy asks how the F you got that many trap cards. <laughs> <laughs> I can send this card from the spell trap card zone to the graveyard. Place one spirit message card from my hand deck or graveyard in the spell trap zone. So give me a second. I'm going to activate the first effect. I can target any number of cards that are banished or in the graveyard and add them to my hand. So I will add um, Hellpamer to the hand. Well. What hell? Okay, that's it. What hell? I will play Aeromage Jasmine. Very well. I thought I could take control of your fancy, exciting monster. Your monsters are really crappy. I activate Aroma Garden. How dare you? My monsters are not crappy. My monsters are elegant. <laughs> you think you can insult me just because of my poncy English accent? Yes. One, two. All right, so Jasmine goes off and I draw a card. Laurel goes off and I can treat somebody as a tuner. I guess I'm going to treat Laurel as a tuner. I then play Aroma Gardening and use Jasmine's effect to crap all over myself. Okay, Jasmine <laughs> uses her effect to tribute for... Uh, Arrow Mage Marjoram, who doesn't get her special ability because she's not brought out on her own. But what we will do is, since Laurel is treating himself as a tuner, and this is going to confuse the hell out of Aaron and Nancy, we can put them together to Synchro Summon for a Aroma Seraphy Sweep Marjoram. Uh -huh. He said yes. <laughs> this is going to confuse the hell out of This is Sweet Marjoram. She's a pretty girl. Close. She's a pretty girl. She's a tea lady. Tea lady. She's made a marjoram. You don't actually put marjoram in tea, really, but, I mean, whatever. If this card is synchro summoned, you can add a humid winds, dried winds, or blessed winds from your deck to your hand. Hmm. Let's go with humid winds. No. 
Humit wins. Yes. Okay. I'm going to set a card. You'll never guess what it is. Okay. Okay. Did I play Aroma Gardening before Marjoram? Yes. Right? Yeah. So then the second thing that happens is I gain a thousand life. Although none of this matters if you get five turns off. Um, which I think I can destroy a card you control. Brilliant. Destiny board. Okay. Because oh. because of my anime rules, you have to destroy Sentence of Doom Okay, first. Sentence of Doom. <laughs> okay. I will attack your face down defense position monster with my aroma seraphy sweet marjoram. Okay, night assailant. When he's flipped, I select one monster on your side of the field and destroy it. I uh, don't like that. So your monster is destroyed. Don't like that. I will night assailant assail marjoram. Quick play spell. Enemy controller. Okay. Okay. And then I'll attack you for 200 damage with your Night Assailant. Because I'll make it cheesy too. Ah. Cheesy too. I think because I wasn't destroyed by battle or card effect. I was destroyed by card effect. But my own card effect. Attributed. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I end my turn. And the Destiny Board begins to spell oh, out your demise. Scary. That's going to be your oh. Y-O-U-R-D-E-M-I-S-E. It's cool. I got 10 turns. We now have two Destiny Board cards on the field. Fe, fe, shouldn't it be F U? In, in the anime, it would be D E. For death, but death was considered too terrifying for a children's card game. Don't they actually take up your spell and trap card zone? No, they don't. That's mean. Then you can still play you other can, you stuff. Can just, you can destroy Wait, this card. You can't come, destroy the other spirit message. Card. How can you can put two? Huh? How come you can put two? Because I'm, I'm using the rules from Duel Links, which it literally in Duel Links just counts up to five and then you lose. But it's only been one turn. Because it's the end of your turn, I get the spirit message. Oh. Not spirit message. I draw! Every turn. Oh, look at this. I drew the spirit message N. Oh my god, you actually drew it? Oh. Quick, use palette cleanser! Oh. Sploosh! <laughs> Look how close you are to your demise, Ivy. That activates F my humid winds. I, I pay a thousand life points to get a monster from my deck to my hands. Ah! It hurts so good. Quick use palette cleanser. <laughs> I will pull Jasmine from my deck to my hand. Very well, Ivy. Oh, your thing's low battery. I'm going to turn this off for now. Or, or plug it in, I guess? Yeah, you can plug it in. Plug it right there. Oh, 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 boy, oh, boy. I cast Palette Cleanser. Okay. <coughs> Actually drinking. <laughs> I had to stop to drink some tea. It was actual tea. Got a picture of a cow tea bag. Cow make tea your tea bag next on. last move. And seal your fate, <clears throat> Ivy. What, do you make, what makes you think it's my last? This is your turn still. Are you done your turn? No, I tribute Night Assailant for Hellpamer. Hellpamer is a twisted, tortured demon from the underworld, and he shall seal your fate. Battle phase! Hellpamer, attack Ivy's life points directly! Okay. How much damage do I take? Boom. 2,000 damage. Oh no, my life points are lower than yours. That activates my humid winds. And I gain 500. My turn is over, as you shall be. I draw. Hmm. I pay a th I don't do no such thing. Huh. I play Arrow Mage Jasmine, and Aroma Gardening activates, gaining me 1,000 life points. See, the life point gain is kind of insane. Jasmine's effect goes off, which lets me draw a card! Ha! <laughs> now we'll see who's gonna lose. I tribute Jasmine to bring out Bergamo! Oh! I activate Your ace own... monster! Yes, my ace it's monster. Aramage Bergamo! The Earl so, so your professor, Aramage Bergamo, comes up out of the ground. 
and you see a bunch of his like viney roses and his like his thorny blade kind of raises up out of the ground. Bergamo is in Earl Grey too. This is when you totally get your summoning animation. Uh, I activate Aroma Garden. And Bergamo goes up to 3,900 attack. What? No, impossible. Oh, it's possible. Hmm. I'll attack your hippocampus directly. Doom. I, it wasn't called that. Was My help hammer is destroyed. <laughs> oh, help over. Whoopsies. <laughs> I don't know why I'll attack your hippocampus directly. You take. I had 3,900 attack on your 2,000, so you take 1,900 damage. Ah! I, I guess I end my turn. At the end of your battle phase, you must discard one card. Goodbye, friend. <laughs> Hellpamer has this effect that at the end of the opponent's battle phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was destroyed by battle, make your opponent discard one random card. This card must be in the graveyard to activate and to resolve this effect. I'll pay a thousand life points to add an aroma monster from my deck to my hand. And remember, at the end of your turn, another destiny board card is added. I special summon Laurel. And I'll attack you directly. You can't. You ended your turn already. Oh, okay. So now we have four pieces of the Destiny board. Finel. Finn. And it will soon spell Finish the end of your fate. Okay, but I think he actually gets the last piece this turn, which probably ends me. Like, no joke. My turn. I don't know. I draw. Do you get it actually only on my turn? And I will summon this. It's on the end of your turn. Okay, thank goodness. At least I have I one more turn. I summon Mrs. Judge. Oh, no. She shall judge your fate. Don't like Mrs. Ivy. Judge. I end my turn. I draw. What does this Mrs. Judge character do? At the end of your turn, you shall plunge into the darkness, never to be seen again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. That's if I activate a card effect. But I suppose I don't have to activate any card effects, and I can still finish you off. We shall see. 1,800. Uh, I have to do math. 2,400 minus 1,800 is 600. And then 800, 600, uh, plus 800. Damn it! That's not enough damage. Um, I activate Humid Winds. Wait. Mrs. Judge's effect oh, shoot. activates. <laughs> I, when an opponent's card effect activates before resolving that effect, I toss a coin twice. And if the result is two heads, your effect is negated. Currently, a magician is doing a coin, coin, coin toss. I should probably be afraid. Tails. Yes! Yeah, you go, you're good. Okay, I pay a thousand life points. To grab a deck card from my deck to my hand. All right, I'm going to grab Kanunga. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put these up here so y'all can Kanunga see. Kanunga is summoned. This activates my aroma gardening. So I should gain a thousand life so points. You aroma gardening? You get to Mrs. Judge, Judge effects activates. Tails. Sweet. <laughs> I gain a thousand <laughs> life points. <laughs> Now everybody else's effects activate. One, two, three. So three. So I can only chain block this one. So this one's going to get activated by Misjudge. Which would be me trying to send one of those. I can't attack those cards. No, you so, can't. But I could attack the first one, right? Destiny board? Uh, no. Uh, not really. Okay. You can chain block, but there's no Heads. valid target. You might and? destroy my Kananga. Oh, no! Heads. So okay. Kananga, no, it's not, not negated. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's just negated. It's negated. So you can't send the rest of board back anyways. Okay. Laurel is going to turn Kananga into... Uh, is going to turn himself into a Tuma. Okay. Going to turn himself into a Tuma. It's a Tuma. 
What's Mrs. Judge's fact? A, 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 a total attack? Yeah, eighteen hundred. And then Bergamo goes up by a thousand, so it goes up to thirty-four hundred. Okay. All right. Okay. I activate a Roma Garden. Okay. Good. Go ahead. No, you get to roll for it. Oh right. Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. Finish him. Mrs. I'm trying Judge. to. I'm trying to. He's about to finish me if I don't. If I can't finish him this turn, I'm done. Tails. Tails. Sweet. Okay. Um. So Bergamo is at 3,900. Not 5,000. Plus 500. There we go. Would Black Rose Dragon work on your final? No. Dang. Okay. Well, I tried. All right, I'm going to put these two chuckle clowns together Okay. to Link Suman, Jasmine. Um, and then I declare my battle phase. Okay. Bergamo is at 3,900 attack, and he will attack your Mrs. Judge. Okay. Boom. Oh! That, I think that doesn't kill you. Does that kill you? No! Yay! Finish it's, him! It's not fair! You dragged me into a shadow game where the... Oh, no. Is he falling into the depths? Yeah. Oh, poor Bakura. No! Bakura! I just wanted friends to do with. No! Falls into the shadows. Can I grab the good one? Like, is it possible? You, like, reach out for him. You can see, like, Bakura and, like, the evil Bakura are, like, very, like... Oh briefly shifted apart and they fall back together and they plunge down in the darkness. I want to save him. No, jump in after him is a bad idea. We're not going to do that today. Come with us into the shadows. Who's saying that? You hear Sarah's voice ominously calling out. Should I? Is this good idea, bad idea time? Okay, that's the end of the... That was a good <laughs> Look how close you got. That Final. Was, this is terrifying. If you didn't win on that turn, it would have been over. I'd have been in the shadows. You would have been... You would have been lost to the shadows. Yep. So this is Yu-Gi-Oh. I think that's probably is that a good good one to end on. That Should is a good on? one to end on. That is a good one to end on. Thank you guys for tuning in. It depends on whether or not you want to play more anymore. Do you want to play more? <laughs> Baron and Nancy says jump into the shadows. <laughs> Will I just die or like? I mean. It's up to you. You do what you want to do. I think I'll turn evil, though. <laughs> like, I have an evil counterpart that usually screws up my life for me when she shows up, and then none of my friends want to be my friends anymore. It's up to you. How, how, are you feeling hungry? Let's, let's ask that question first. Are you feeling hungry? Oh, it's like 6 o'clock. Yeah, because we're going to have to get Kira in a little bit, so okay. should probably... Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I would love to jump into the hell level two. Yeah, exactly. Hell <laughs> level two. Ah, go wreck up her house. <laughs> Booker is a guy. He's just a gay British guy. He's a gay British guy. He, yeah. And the girls love him, and for some reason, like, he just doesn't respond to them. Because hmm. he's gay for merit. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's gay for the other villain. That's true. They are good friends. In the anime, like, they're actually, they have a, they have a moment. <laughs> Doppelganger. It's a really messed That's up. That's actually moment. the name of a card in the, in the game. Where one of them, like, threatens the other one with a knife, and then it's implied that they, like, get it on. Oh, yeah, I remember that. In the, in the, in the manga. So he's, like, actually gay. Like, I'm not. He's not just British. This is a children's card game. This is a children's card game, but the manga and the anime... The anime is okay for kids. The manga is definitely not for kids. I would say not. <laughs> Alright, well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys liked that last duel that we did there. Ivy almost got sent to the Shadow Realm. You guys see that? I was we in the Shadow Realm. We spelled four characters out of five. Okay? If, if there was one more letter, that would have been over for poor Ivy. It wasn't That was pretty exciting, huh? You have fun? Oh, Fina. Fina. Ah. Yeah, literally, if you didn't win that round, that's it was GG. Very scary. Very scary. <laughs> Do you have fun? Yeah, I'm have... just waiting for my heart rate to return to normal. Hang on. <laughs> yep. All right. It's coming down a bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, 
Jordan's going to do remote duels with people tomorrow while I'm at work. Am I? Yeah. Okay. So if you want to remote duel with Jordan, he's going to remote duel tomorrow. Yes. Oh, I'm going to do a quick ring trick. Let's see here if I can do it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> it's weird on the camera because you have to get into you know, I'll do a the weird next time. position. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. And I will talk to you guys next time. Thank you for tuning in. And have an awesome day, guys. Bye. Thank you guys. Bye for now.